Hello everybody, my name is Douglas Arnold Armstrong, I'm official hand honcho here at Happy Texas Reviews. Thank you if you guys are watching the live stream, or if you guys are just watching after the stream ends. Thank you guys also so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, join up as a group member if you have not already. And in today's review, we are talking about a video game that I honestly didn't think, to be frank, existed. Um, we are talking about the game called Dauntless. Now, yes, this might sound familiar, as to referring to the movies and books of Divergent, but this is completely different. Um, I didn't know this game existed, and I guess this has been a PS4 exclusive game for a long while, and it just went to being coming crossplay, I believe, and also free to play and download on both Windows and Xbox One. Um, so basically, this game is the cartoon version and the rated G version of Monster Hunter World. This game, I, I didn't know what to expect from this game. I literally just downloaded it because it was free to play, and I'm like, okay, I'll check it out. This game is being, this game was made by Epic Games, and they are the makers of the first three Gears of War games, and of course, Fortnite! You can see where this is going, can't you? <laughs> so if you've ever played a Monster Hunter World and ever thought, hey, let's have the people that make Fortnite make a Monster Hunter World game, this is what Dauntless is. It, this game is basically Monster Hunter World for 12-year-olds. There you go. Um, so, honestly, this game is horrible. I played this game for 20 minutes, and then I immediately uninstalled it. First of all, no one wants to help you actually kill the big monsters. There's no health bar for bosses. Literally, there's a mini-boss, like, two minutes into you actually starting to play the game, and the mini-boss doesn't even have a health bar. Problem. Like, how many times am I supposed to be shooting and swinging at this thing in order for it to die? I'm just swinging and shooting and hoping this thing will die eventually. That's a problem. I need a health bar, people. Um, the microtransactions in this game, they range from $5 to $100 each. Why? Um, there's also, let's not also, let's also add to the fact that there's not only microtransactions, but there's a battle pass system in here for cosmetics. Exactly similar to Fortnite. So, you either need to pay for upgrades and cosmetics and whatnot, or you have to grind for hours upon hours upon hours in this game world to get the good stuff. And honestly, I didn't want to try. Um, this game, honestly, to be frank, the CGI or animation or whatever in this game is worse than Fortnite. And I have played Fortnite for a little bit, so I know what I'm talking about. This game is boring. It's ugly to look at. There's no missions. There's no storyline. It's just you try to find people that want to play with you or do the crappy matchmaking system and go into fantasy land and go and kill big monsters. And then you reap the rewards and get better armor and loot and all that stuff. And you repeat the grind over and over. Honestly, I've never been a big fan of Monster Hunter and Monster Hunter World in general just because the game loop just doesn't interest me at all. But um, I ended up going over to a friend's house and I played it for about an hour and I actually enjoyed it. Then I played this game and I'm like, this is why I didn't want to play Master Hunter World. It's because of the fears and the crappy game design that it could possibly have. And that's what Dauntless is. It is not a good game. Now, if you're 12 years, if you're between 12 and 15, you might enjoy this game. But honestly, if not, you're going to play this game for about 15, 20 minutes to just see what it's like, and then you're going to uninstall it. I promise you. And if you're not going to, and you still hate the game, and you're like, oh, it's free to play, so I have a free game to play, and I don't have to spend 60 bucks or whatever, I'm like, that's what you want to do. If you want to play a free-to-play free game that looks like crap, doesn't have an actual storyline at all, really. I mean, there's like a little mini intro cutscene, but honestly, that's anime. That's not even live action or anything. It's just 
<sighs> it's bad. I don't even know why this game existed. And the fact that it came over from the PS4 to the Xbox One is scary. And I know for a fact that this game has a very big player base right now, but I'm not going to be a part of it. So with that, guys, I'm going to give Dauntless a 5 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye.